This is a 41-year-old patient presenting with food impaction and dysphagia. As you can see, several mucosal abnormalities can be found. Linear furrows can be observed in the mid and distal part of the esophagus. Those furrows are typical signs of eosinophilic esophagitis, but be careful, they can also sometimes be seen in patients with reflux esophagitis. A further sign of eosinophilic esophagitis are whitish plaques, as seen here in the mid and distal esophagus. The third typical feature of eosinophilic esophagitis are circular rings, as seen here in the proximal esophagus. The whitish surface of the ring suggests that this was the site of the food impaction. This is another patient with eosinophilic esophagitis. Multiple small whitish papules can be observed here. These are eosinophilic microabscesses, also a typical sign. In addition, longitudinal furrows are also found, as you can see here. Furrows can often be very subtle and can easily be overlooked. In patients with typical symptoms, chromoendoscopy with indigocarmine can help to visualize those subtle furrows.